And they are really supportive of each other. It's Trish! Lovely. Trish! We've had an Akka emergency! Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Hi guys, it's Trish C, director of Pitch Perfect 3, and um, we just came back from our lunch break. It's day 20 of our 46 day shoot for this movie and uh, it's Monday and we just came back from lunch but before our next shot I want to take you around the set and give you a little sneak peek of what's coming and show you some exclusive behind the scenes nuggets so come with me I'm gonna show you where we're shooting today here we are we're in Atlanta we're on a sound stage so we are in our story we are in Cadiz Spain which is a beautiful town in the coast of uh, the Mediterranean. So what we've done, watch your step, there's a big step up. Stepping up, stepping up. Um, what we've done is we have built a really fabulous, luxurious, amazing uh, penthouse suite. Come look at it. It's gonna blow your mind, you guys. Come in here, come in here. We're setting up, so it's a little loud, it's a little crazy. But. So here's the suite. Come look at this. Watch your step. Here's our like fake elevator that the girls are gonna come through and they're gonna see this amazing vista of just like Moorish style luxury. It doesn't really look like Moorish style luxury when you've got like a huge crew in here and a bunch of like bounces and flags and lights and camera equipment and cords, but it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna be like, I mean, it's like gonna be fabulous. On the far end down there through those curtains, is where Becca is going to discover some recording equipment. <laughs> I wonder what she'll do with that. And also, like, all manner of mischief is going to take place in this room. You guys have no idea. I'm just going to say it involves a pretty amazing special effects crew, a pretty amazing stunt team. Stuff is going to get very wild in this room. Stuff is going to get very wild. Now come with me, let's go back outside. Watch your step. Look at this. Like nobody in the movie is even going to see this. It's this beautiful like shelf thing, but it's tucked away in this hallway return. Nobody's ever going to see it. This is like the most beautiful piece of furniture and no one's going to see it. But you saw it. That's our stills photographer, Quantrell trying not to be in the movie, my movie that I'm making right now, but he's in it. Watch your step. So, what else can I show you guys? This is the DIT tent where we figure out how the color grade should look and how the and, and what? We're gonna go to another set. Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to another set. I'm allowed to show you this. Come, 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 come. Watch your step. Okay. I get to, sh I didn't know I got to show you this. Come, come. Now, we're gonna go up these stairs. Should I show them, can I, I'm gonna show you this one. Here's a set that we used last week. It is the hallway of a hotel. And this hotel is supposed to be, watch your head, um, this hallway is supposed to be in uh, Nice. Uh, actually, no, this is still Spain. This is still Spain, the hotel in Spain. Come look. What's amazing is that right now, it's being used as a hangout space. But it looks like a hotel, right? But come down here, come down here. Sorry. These are all our friends. When you go into like, say room 306, there's no room 306. It's just a sound stage, but come on. Okay, so that's the hallway that we used last week. One of my favorite sets that's still being built that we're not gonna use till Friday, I'm gonna show you too, come this way. This one, look at this. There's no air conditioning or heat in here in this soundstage, so we have to bring it all in. They like rig these uh, ducts, and they just like pump it in from the outside. It's crazy. Anyway, um, we're using this set on Friday, the one I'm about to show you. It is a fishing warehouse on the coast of Villefranche, which is a tiny town. We're gonna go up these steps, be careful. Tiny town in France, uh, sort of just east of Nice, well, kind of past Nice, almost in Italy, actually. Um, if you can imagine the Mediterranean Sea spreading out over here, curving around 
the tip of that point out there. See that point way out there? You can just see Italy just past that point. And the houses built into the hillsides, all that. And then here's this very romantic fishing warehouse where the girls are going to find themselves after quite an adventure. I'm not going to tell you what the adventure is. I'm not going to spoil this story for you, but they're going to have an adventure, you guys, an epic adventure. And they're going to land here to recuperate and kind of pull themselves together. So we're still painting it. We're still finishing it. You can see all of this was totally fabricated from nothing. All these colors lovingly selected. Look at this. Even this. Not center black, just made to look like center black. So I'm going to now go sit down in a special spot so that I can answer some of your questions because I know you have some. So give me a second to get back over there. But appreciate this. Appreciate all this amazing work. This movie's going to look great and it's going to be fun and you guys are going to love it. See you in a minute. Hi guys. Hello, we're back. I'm uh, still on set, of course. We're still not shooting, so I'm taking a couple minutes to answer your questions that are coming in. Thank you guys for contacting us and for being excited. I'm super excited as well. This is like the greatest, the greatest fun time ever. Um, let's see, questions, questions. Where is Stacy? Stacy's in the movie. She's here, she's coming, she's, she's gonna be back. She's on a bit of a different adventure than the girls, but she's having an adventure and she's here. So you will see her and you'll be, uh, you'll be excited to see what she's up to. Um, not gonna give it away exactly, but yes, Stacy's in the movie. Um, what is the, oh, here's an interesting question from Jen Page. Hi, Jen Page. Uh, what is the biggest challenge going from music videos to a multi-million dollar music film? Um, and it's true, I come from the world of directing music videos and film is very different. In some senses, it's not so different. You shoot a camera towards the things you want to see and you push a button and you make the light look pretty and you go. Um, but of course, it's so much more complicated than that. Telling stories is such a different thing than just capturing beautiful moments and instants and shapes and colors. And of course, there's plenty of that in this movie as well. In fact, I think this is gonna be a really startlingly beautiful movie. And there's a lot of moments in here that feel like music videos. Um, but what I love about this movie and what I've loved about this franchise from the first time I ever saw Pitch Perfect 1 is the, the characters and the stories and how much they love each other and how much they make each other laugh, how much they make us laugh, how much we can see parts of ourselves in each of these characters. And as we've watched them go from being in college to you know, looking towards the end of college and now they're gonna be out of college, um, you really feel like you know these women. You feel like that you, you, they're like you and your friends, you know, and you really want to see what happens next. You're pulling for them, you're rooting for them, and you don't get to do any of that in a music video. Um, from a technical standpoint, there's a lot of difference. We have a really big crew. We have a really big set over here, like I showed you right before, um, you know, and a 46-day shoot, so it's, it's a lot of stamina involved in doing something like this. So many people, from the people that, you know, make walls look like plaster, to the people that tie leaves onto trees, to the people that, you know, hand select every piece of furniture and artwork and every rug and what color sheets are going to be on the beds. I mean, so much thought has gone into this. Um, it's kind of staggering when you stop to think about it but it's such a grand adventure and this cast and crew is so wonderful. In fact, a lot of you guys are asking what it's like to work with this cast. I know you guys adore them just like I do. They are every bit as wonderful in real life as they are on camera, maybe more wonderful. They are funny, they are, it's like a giant fruit salad where every one of these women is like a different flavor of sweet fruit. Yeah, you have like the uh, juicy fruit sweet, the, the very, sticky sweet, the spicy sweet, the sour sweet, they're all in there and they're all lovely and they all go together and they are really supportive of each other. It's Trish! Lovely. Trish! We've had an ACA emergency! We gotta go. Guys. We gotta go. I'll see you next time. I'm sorry.